Hi friends, today I thought for this hashtag event I'd make some fun borders. Um, I know we've made borders before, but these ones are more of a summer or a spring flowers type of uh, border. So I was thinking of making some easy, cute flowers um, for my border. So I'm just going to make my circles. And um, I probably can make a few of them a little larger. Make some larger flowers as well. And just play. I'm using my pencil just to sketch them in, just a fine mechanical pencil. And I thought it would be really cute to make some just fun old flowers. Let's see if I can go down a bit more here so you guys can see what I am doing. So just like the four loops, you know, type of thing. And just play. And try to keep them just loose and fun. That one has five. Whoop we do. That's good. And try not to push too hard, but I am pushing a little harder so then you guys can see on the video. I'm using watercolor paper for this border. Um, you can use any kind of paper. You if you're gonna do watercolor like I'm gonna do, you might want to tape the paper down a bit and do the border like on the inside of it and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a few more little flowers so we get some little ones and you could just play with it and it kind of attaches the flower a little bit and um, I thought that would be a really cute border for a canvas or something. You can do them a lot um, thinner too, like with just one layer of flowers, which we all do as well. You want the flowers touching each other, so you just have a full stream of flowers. So you're going to have to add extra flowers to do that. And very large petals. And that kind of thing. As long as the flowers are touching each other, it's going to be perfect. And there we go. Nice little border of flowers. I also I'm going to draw the next one here. Just, just like that. Um, Just like that fun little border. I thought spring flowers, let's bring them on in. I love, I'm really going like flower crazy and garden crazy. And you could do a little birdhouse border. That would be really cute. Um, and alternate flowers and birdhouses and that kind of thing. Just some really nice borders. You can do them for canvases. Any kind of piece of work that you're working on. So they can be perfect um, little four leaves like this. You can kind of mess them up a little bit and make them three leaves and just play with it. Just like that. They're really cute. And like I said, some of them you might want to make a little birdhouse. A little flower. A little flower. A 
What a cute little um, border that makes. And then you just attach the borders with like another little bird uh, flower. And this one's supposed to be a lighter um, pencil, but I am going a little bit hard so you guys can see. Isn't that cute? Wouldn't that make a cute border? That does make a cute little border. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. And then we're going to go over them in watercolor. my water brushes to paint these watercolor and I think they're gonna be really cute and so I have these different water brushes and I have this different sizes here this just to show you it's a very small uh, medium and or well, a larger medium and another flat edge and I like to use a little container like this with a sponge in it so I just add a little water to rub off my um, see how it just and I got some color on there but I just use that to rub off so that's what I'm gonna be doing on the side here is rubbing off and I have my watercolor over here and I sprayed it so it's ready and that's what I like to do so this is what I'm gonna be doing when I come up here cleaning that off grabbing some color down here for my and I got kind of a mixture of colors so I'm just gonna do that so I'll be doing that and putting some music to it for you guys
this is what I came up with now. So this is kind of like the watercolor thing. I'm going in between with a kind of a yellowy, ochery, orangey, whatever color in some of the spots I've missed and adding a little bit of that, you know, in here, just to make it a little bit more. Because we're going to cut this out and this is going to be like some kind of border here as well, but you want to look decent. So I'm just going between anything that I missed to make it look decent. And it's it's kind of like brain no brainer stuff and at the same time as um, fun and useful. So yeah, I'm hoping that you know it kind of comes that way. And a lot of it's like look the my paints are a mess. And you just keep pulling colors out of it and just playing with it and not even caring, right? Just like, you know, and yes, clouds are supposed to be white, but whatever. I'm adding a little hint of the muck mess I have here. So, see how it's just kind of, it doesn't matter. It's mixed media. You can do whatever you want. You can add any kind of colors to these as you want. I was actually going to add birds, and I'm like, oh, I'll just add heart. Who knows? Got like a pop of red there, so. Kind of cool. So that's the kind of thing I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some heat on here, dry it all up, and come in with my um, pasta pen or whatever in black. the outline is done um, it is time to cut it out
this is it, guys. Let's come down and check it out. I think these are really cute borders, and I think you guys can have so much fun with them, doing some something different flower borders and stuff to do with the garden. So here's this one. So cute. Watercolor, and um, I just used the Posca pen. My other pen, my Sharpie, I would have used, but it ran out and clouds and hearts and i think these would be really cute borders for any project collage um journaling by fives your um any journals or canvases i think they're really cute there we go so give it a try guys and i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to uh craft like a duck talk to you guys later Bye bye There we go.